hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i am going to explain you cascading combo box control so in my last video i have already explained you how we can do the cascading drop down so let me explain you first what is the difference between drop down and the combo box so uh let me add a new screen okay now let me add the combo box control uh, let me select this business unit as a data source and, and paste and then take a label Let's rename this to business unit. Increase the size of this label. The label. Rename this to a department. Increase some width okay so let's go back to the sharepoint list so this is my business unit uh, uh, sharepoint list in the sharepoint chart so now you can see this is the business unit column and this is the department so what i want let's suppose if someone is selecting accounting then only these three uh, departments should come if someone is selecting it then this uh, value should be come uh, then later HR, then manufacturing, then telecom. So now let's see. So uh, the difference between this uh, drop down list and the combo box is uh, let me play this. So now you can see in the drop down, uh, at least one item should be selected by default. Okay. So if I go back to the combo box, so here you can see there is nothing like you need to select from your site and by default it is blank and uh, combo box give the flexibility you can search uh, i have to enable this uh, search functionality and uh, one more thing is uh, let's suppose if uh, i want to select uh, in the drop down with multiple value then i can't do okay but in combo box we can select the multiple value as well okay so if i select this if i select this so now you can see like multiple values i can select okay so but in my current scenario i just want to select only uh, one values so let's see how we can achieve this so let me go back to the studio select this so in the property pan we have a option is allow multiples selection okay so we need to turn this off okay and same thing like uh, if i want if someone is uh, searching uh, by typing then we can uh, we can own this toggle like allow searching okay and same thing i need to do with this like because i don't want multiple selection okay so now let's see if i play this so now you can see i can select only one item and same thing is here okay so now let's see how we can uh, do the cascading option so like same thing uh, in my previous video what we need to do we need to write the distinct function distinct function and this is the data source and then we need to select the column okay so now let's play so now you can see this is like a distinct value okay so allow searching should be turned on okay. why it is this... 
okay so now what i want like uh, i want if someone is selecting let's say if by default item is id id okay so how we can do that like uh, all the department which is belongs to the it business units then how we can achieve so either like uh, we can write the filter uh, filter function in the items or the other ways like uh, uh, this is the dependent uh, depends on uh, dialog box will be open once we click on this so here you can select like a combo box like parent control so my parent control is this bu combo box so and what i need to do i need to just match the uh, in the business unit uh, uh, bu column as well okay because like uh, this uh, this combo box one is giving me the value of this uh, uh, business unit column so we need to match this in this uh, combo box one underscore one so let me so like uh, you can select a number of options is here but my combo box is one so that's the reason i selected combo box one and if i click on apply okay so now you can see only it it option is coming why because we have only uh, we have only this one two three four four department is there but now the thing is instead of department bu uh, bu uh, field data is coming so let me go back to this let me close this let me select this control so what we need to do we need to go to the advanced tab okay uh, sometime it's not um so we just go back and so here like here we have a display field is a uh, bu so now let me just uh, type the department okay so now if i play so now you can see technical technical architect project manager all this is coming if i select hr then you can see recruitment recruitment hat all these options are coming so in this like most of the time uh, the challenge we face let's suppose uh, if user select the business unit i am selecting right now accounting and uh, so now you can see this recruitment had which is part of this uh, which is part of this hr business unit it should be uh, erased or it should be uh, it should be deleted from this combo box so at that time what we can do we can just uh, like we have a properties here like a uh, on change and on select so let's suppose if value is getting changed then we can simply write the reset function and then we can select the combo box control for department so let's suppose right now this is part of the hr business unit recruitment head department so if i select let's say hr so now you can see item is automatically deleted and then you need to select again okay and same thing like uh, once you selecting the once you selecting the uh, this child property of this combo box because this is the parent bu okay and this is the child because this combo box is depend on this uh, uh, child uh, parent control so that's the reason i just mentioned this uh, uh, reset function of this parent control let's suppose if someone is changing then it will reset this control okay thanks for watching see you later